that though. Like no, that was the biggest huge. milestone of like my life. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to the July edition of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery, where we catch everybody up on all the good events that happened in June. Hmm. A lot has happened. Um, the store has been open for a month now. Just crazy. Because it feels like it never closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, we've added a lot of new stationery this month, as always. And we have been working on a ton of YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. YouTube all day, every all day. day. <laughs> but before we dive into all that, obviously, we, we added a lot of new stationery. And I think one of my favorite things that we added are the sale. Shikiori Sound of Rain series. These pens are from Sailor and they were released at the end of last year in 2020 in Japan in like November or December and they're finally here. They came out maybe the first or second week mm -hmm. of June and they were really really quick to go. I think all the all the retailers in the US basically got them in like very limited quantities because Sailor North America was only able to get a little of, of each yeah. pen, um, unfortunately. So they quickly sold out because of how beautiful they are. I think we we sold out of all the colors. I think the spring one is probably the most popular. My favorite one is actually the winter one, which That's is this. My, is it really? Yes, oh is. yeah, I think. I think. I, I mean, this is, the, this is the favorite. Yes. So this is like the overall. the The spring one yes. is the most popular, but I like. I this like. Is this is like the underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really pretty. Plus, plus, I already have my Dragon Palace, so if I were to mm. pick a pen, I would definitely pick like mm -hmm. this light pink purple one with yes. these frosty finials, frosty white finials. Yes, and also just to mention the rain in the winter. Yeah. I feel like that's a very special type of rain. Oh, so yeah. That's my favorite too. Yeah, and this does, this this pinkish purple really reminds me of the sky mm -hmm. after um, like a rain or a snowfall in the winter because yes. When that happens, like the sky is like a really weird, very beautiful color. Um, wow. So yeah, cool. Yeah, I don't know um, what was your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we will be restocking these in a few weeks in July, is what Sailor North America is has been saying. So we are waiting for them very eagerly, and we know a lot of you who are watching this are also waiting for them. So. We'll send out those restock notifications as soon as we can um, and let you all know as soon as we get them in. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, and another awesome fountain pen that we added last month is the Koweko Art Sport. Mm. And I know all of you know how much I love Koweko, but these are, this might have to top all the ones that have come before them. <laughs> um, and the Koweko Art Sport is super, super, super unique. Uh, they're actually carved from blocks of Italian resin, mm -hmm. and they're hand carved, hand polished, and it's really difficult to describe just how how magical they look. I mean, that's the only way to describe it. Um, the Pelmet Orange, for example, just the way that it catches the light, it almost looks like it's made of 20 different shades of the same color. And the way that, that it feels in your hand is just a very like nice ridged, um, I don't know, it's just, oh, velvet. It's, oh, velvet. that's a very good that word. Is, yeah, it even yes. looks like velvety. Yes, mm -hmm. so fun. And we've had these for a couple of weeks and I have not been able to come up with that word until this moment. <laughs> um, yeah, but velvet, you know, you know the way that it catches the light when you're yes. using the fabric? That's yeah. exactly how this looks. Um, and they come in three beautiful colors, palomet orange, coral and turquoise. Right, these are the three colors we have. Yes. There's a lot more colors. The Koweko Art series, originally released in like 2018 by Koweko, but they're kind of rare and hard to find at this point. So these are the three colors that we were able to get and we'll continue to try getting more, but I think that some of them have become quite hard to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Funny story, we actually um, met one of our customers from Turkey. Hello, Mustafa, if you're watching. Um, he has the Instagram account Koweko Jedi, and he's a big collector. And he has like all of the Koweko wow. arts, basically. Yeah. I asked him, um, he was asking us if we have any of like rare Kuekos, and obviously these came up in conversation. And he's like, I have that one, I have that one, I have oh, that he one. Has he has everything. <laughs> 
Um, I think he said he, he knows the number of Kawekos he doesn't have over like the, his collection. Because I, oh, asked, wow. I asked him how many how many he has. So that was... He's like on the hunt for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was um, one of my recent highlights was meeting um, this Kaweco Jedi. Yes, he truly <laughs> is. He was so nice. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, another favorite that we added this month are these Tools to Live By paperclip rubber stamps. <laughs> They're so cute. They inspired actually a recent blog post that I wrote called stationary themed stationary, our favorite stationary themed stationary because these are really adorable. They are rubber stamps that are made in the image of brass paper clips that Tools to Live By also makes. So like for example, they have these ideal shaped paper clips. They call them ideal. This is like the shape design and they are modeled after vintage paper clips and this one is from 1902 um, and it's based off of a real design from 1902 and then they thought to make these like sort of meta um, <laughs> you can also stamp the paper clip on the page where you clip the paper clip, the yeah. paper clip on the page. <laughs> I'm just gonna say like stationary theme stationary is like inception. I like, know. You can just keep diving deeper and deeper. I love it though. It's so cute. I mean like obviously and we all love stationary and like what better motif to have on all of your stationery than stationary. So so this inspired that blog post and um, we love you tools to live by. Yes, we do. <laughs> and um, I have my friend Greg here. You're, hi Greg. <laughs> Hello Greg. How you doing? Um, <laughs> so Greg, uh, this is the life stenographer notebook um, titled Greg because Greg, um, I mean I call it Greg but legitimately that is a type of shorthand right. used by stenographers and we all know stenographers are the ones in the court, mm -hmm. in court cases typing a million words a second. They actually have a super unique way of writing. Apparently, the average human or person that types can do 40 words a minute. Right. Do you know your typing average? I don't. Me neither. Yeah. But I think I'm like an average type, <laughs> type typer. Average typer, yeah. Typist. Apparently, a very experienced stenographer can type up to something like 150 words a minute. Right, and then they can write really fast. Write so they really write fast. in this like code. Yeah. Right, exactly. And then, I was just gonna say, if the average human is forty words a minute, and they can do one hundred and fifty, I mean, that is, they've reached like the peak of writing. <laughs> um, and the reason that the stenographer notebook is so well made for writing quickly is because it's well, it's beautiful cream colored paper, and they have really faint light blue lines. But there's a column down the middle. So basically, you would write from left to right, stop at the center column, and then jump down to the next line. So you actually save time mm -hmm. instead of crossing over constantly. Mm -hmm. You just write like this, 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 and then go back down. So mm -hmm. it's a really cool, cool notebook. And, yeah. and I and I truly refer to this notebook as Greg. As Greg. Personified. I love that. Notebook. We should yes. name all of our notebooks. Honestly. We should. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, I didn't know what a stenographer was, but um, Christine... So cool said that like when she was a kid, she really was like very interested in stenography. Wow. So she did a lot of the research on this notebook. When she was doing it, she was like explaining it to me and I just thought that was so cute that she wanted that to be a stenographer cute. when she was a Aww. kid. I, wanted, I was pretty into um, typewriters as a kid also actually yes. and there was a time when I really wanted to be like a journalist. Wow. Yeah, and I want I like would always sit out in my parents' backyard on my time. What? Are you serious? <laughs> what? what? So into oh it for a while. So like 1940s, Daisy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you remember in, in school? Did you ever have like typing lessons? I did. The A S L. Like, yeah. Did you do that? A S M E S L D K F J. I I, I found that I wrote faster not listening to that method. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? So you didn't like there were like like that. you had to like do the drills. certain yeah 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 yeah. So you didn't do the drills. No, I did, but I oh. felt like I was faster with my own method oh, of typing. Your own method. Like you don't have to like do the. I, I played piano, so I feel like oh. I was able to like you know. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. Um, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Typing class. Typing class. Do kids still have typing class? They all have iPads. Now. I feel like they're just born knowing how to type now, yeah. <laughs> right? But they are the typer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all the fabulous news stationery. I mean, obviously there's more, but these are just some of our favorites. And this month has also been, um, as we mentioned before, all about YouTube. Um, we made so many YouTube videos that are a little bit different, and we not necessarily like the types of videos that we made before. And part of the reason is just 
you know, we, I'm, I'm gonna be going on maternity leave in a few months, and so we're just trying to stock up on content a little bit, yeah. and we can't help ourselves when we get a good idea. Honestly, we just get like very excited, and we yeah, want to do it as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So one of the really fun videos that we worked on this past month was the around Yoseka mm -hmm. little tour of not not necessarily Greenpoint because Greenpoint is much bigger, but <laughs> we just went we just went like. Neil kept saying like the one block radius. <laughs> like we have to specify that it's the yeah. one block radius. But even even <laughs> one that? block though, like that was like an hour. It was an hour yeah. and it was really hot that day and we did it like on a Saturday before the store opened. So mm -hmm. the last fifteen minutes were us like running around. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but we were like sweating and yes. um <laughs> We're just like repeating the same things over <laughs> yeah. and over again. That was fun. But it was a lot of fun. So that was a lot, a lot of fun to shoot that video. Um, and it was cool to take the cameras outside. And Neil got to um, experience being a cameraman, like, Ooh. like in, on, with a moving camera. Yeah, very which like we've never done do before. Documentary style. Yeah, yeah. So that was fun. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go and watch that mm -hmm. video. And then we, we did um, our first pencil case artist feature. Oh pencil. yeah. That was, was just fun. like a week ago or something. Like a few, I feel like that was a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we featured our friend Miwa. Yeah, Miwa. Miwa came in the series. We go and explore the pen cases of um, some of our favorite people and just stationary lovers. And Miwa was the first person to start this with. And she did such an amazing job. Um, I know like when I asked her to be on our YouTube, she didn't quite know what to expect, but she was a real champ. And yeah. <laughs> um, she like took it, brought her pen case, which was like jam packed full of goodies. And it was a lot of fun to hear like all the different stories associated with every item mm -hmm. in her pen case. I think I really enjoyed doing that out, yeah. of, out of everything. It was, it was really fun and it was nice just to like be with a friend also. Yeah, yeah and, and, I, and I think this series is super important because an artist and, and a writer and a stationary lover's tools help to bring their ideas and, and, and like all, all of their creative energy and transfer it onto another mm. another realm, like piece of paper or something. And I, and I think the tools that you use are so important, so it's very interesting to see what everyone's favorites are. Yeah, yeah for cool. sure. It's so interesting. And I, I also love that, like this didn't quite make it into the, the video, but I loved that a lot of the pens um, and pencils in her pen case were caked in clay because she would use them <gasps> as cute. like um to when she was sculpting wow. <laughs> so you can really tell that yeah. like she's a sculptor and she's, she's sculptor. an artist and these are different ways that she uses her pens as well mm -hmm. um yeah we should have showed that but it was That's really cute. really cute and then we also did a platinum nib and line comparison video as well you all have seen our sailor uh, nib and line comparison our custom 74 nib and line comparison and to close that um, big three Japan uh, fountain pen gap we did the platinum one as well mm -hmm. and if if you all have any ideas for other nib and line comparisons or nib comparisons that you'd like to see us do let us know and if you have any suggestions for artists or other people that you'd like to see uh, come and show their pen cases off with us, definitely let us know about Shout that out. as well. Yeah. yeah. But what happened last month? Oh, we had Father's Day. We had Father's Day. So Yuseka has been open for a month. Yes. And um, how was your Father's Day? It was very good. Yeah. Spent it with my dad. Uh, yeah, and actually, <gasps> wait. Oh my god. 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 Oh my this gosh. Is, we forgot Wait. about this when we were planning this video. Wait. But something huge happened huge. this month. Um, my parents ah. came to Yoseka oh for the first time. I forgot. Ah. I'm like getting, I'm like getting Wait. emotional. Oh my god. No, that, why did we forget that? that I, was don't like, I don't like know. I don't know. That was the biggest huge. milestone of like my oh. life. I mean, like my, my parents since a very early age, like my, my father's a writer um, and they, and my mom's a, a painter and, and the two of them just instilled such a love of, of, of writing and drawing and like, I remember sitting at my dad's desk in his office and he had all these beautiful pens and just um, to bring them here and, and show them where I spend my happiest days and to have them be in the space was like the best thing ever. Aww. So that, that happened. 
And that was, yes, that was a great Yes, it was so amazing finally getting to meet Sarai's mom and dad <laughs> and even your aunt and your cousin came. Yes, I was like a whole family. <laughs> it was, was like, a whole family affair. Yes. And Sarai's mom is like, a blast. She's so <laughs> hilarious. So and they funny. look exactly the same. Nice yeah. Mm -hmm. Um it was just it was like a highlight of the that month sure. I can't believe we forgot funny. that. <laughs> like it was so amazing that we blocked it out because yeah, like yeah. wow. That's so funny. It was like on another plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. So that happened. That's that wrong. happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um and in general Father's Day was just really great. I um Neil and I like on the way driving home after Father's Day, which was a Sunday, um, we just, we were talking to each other and we we're just saying like how amazing it is that we got to meet like some, some dads who, uh, some customers of ours who are dads and they decided to bring like their daughters or their sons so to cute. our store for so Father's cute. Day and share this experience with them and share this hobby yes. and love of pens mm -hmm. and um, writing mm -hmm. with, with their kids and, um, yeah, I just, um, I thought that was very that was sweet. So sweet. Oh <laughs> yeah. So thank you for anybody who um, made it out on Father's Day. And also just in general, we've been open for um, a few weeks now. And anyone who's made the trip, we've really heard a few times, like people from out of town, customers who've ordered from us from like just all over different all states. Over. Like I met somebody from Georgia. I Someone met from LA. From DC. Yeah. Um, just really Chicago. all over and they're they're just coming come by to say hello and I can't tell you how amazing that is. I had someone yesterday and if you're watching this, this, <laughs> oh, was, oh. Awesome. this was awesome. <laughs> you're like she, speaking directly speaking to, to them. <laughs> no, she uh, she lives in California has followed Yoseka Stationery, ordered from Yoseka Stationery, but never quite investigated where we were located. And she was wa visiting, uh, just walking around here oh yesterday, and she saw our sign. <gasps> oh, like it was just like a coincidence. Yes, and she was like, wait. <gasps> and she just oh found God. us like that. And she was just in awe, and it was so cool to talk to I her. That. And I was like, whoa. And she's like, this is the best day ever. Like, Aww. it was really, really cool. Oh so my that was gosh. awesome. Yeah. I love when that happens. Yeah, that's how really, fun. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so that's been great, just having the yes. store open again and meeting um, everybody. Mm -hmm. We missed you. We missed you. Yeah. Other than that, these past few, like the end of June, beginning of July at Yoseka has also been a lot about planning yes. for the future. And we have some big big changes coming up um i'll be away on maternity leave for uh, an unknown time <laughs> neil keeps asking me to commit to like a certain amount of time but i'm just like i don't know anything yeah. i can't i can't predict what life will be like no. after august yeah i don't know so i don't know if i'll be in and out or if i'll just be like cooped up at home or for how long I will be. Or the baby will be a new uh, Yoseka employee. Exactly, maybe day one they'll be like <laughs> born with an apron on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. A onesie, but you as an apron? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we can get Ashley to sew it. That'll yeah. be cute, that'll be cute. Um, so I don't know, and of course Soraya is going to be out for a couple of weeks. Yes. Soraya's getting married mm -hmm. and she'll be going on her honeymoon. Yeah. Um, which will be amazing, amazing and we are so excited for you to go Thank and like you. do that and just have some time off. Yeah. So that's, so a lot of these are just basically, um, changing the schedule up a little bit at Yoseka because we'll need to cover for um, me and Soraya both being out for a significant amount of time. So mm -hmm. we're figuring that out. We have calendars <laughs> up on the whiteboard in the back. Looks like uh, a crazy code. A beautiful mind situation yeah, yeah, yeah. up yeah. there. Yeah. Nothing is finalized. <laughs> so no. we don't know. It's crunch time. We need to figure it out in like the next couple of weeks, maybe one week. Um, we will Tomorrow. let everyone know as soon as we know. But there may yeah. or may not be um, some, some, some changes to the schedule. Temporary. Um, yeah. yeah. Just bear with us. Yes. Um, but I promise we will continue to be here for any questions. Yeah. Um, all of your orders will not be interrupted. No. Well, the gift cycle will continue. Your cycle will continue. Will continue. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> those are the big updates. Um, I, I you can probably tell I'm like stressed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's also really funny that coincidentally um, Daisy and I are having the biggest 
changes of our life at the same like the, time. At the same time. But in a way, I also feel very special and very lucky that I have, you know, my, my close mm -hmm. friend to be able to, to share this, this life milestone with. Yeah. So. Maybe the baby will come, like, on your wedding day. That would, <laughs> that would be, be so be crazy, cool. Right? That would be so cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed catching up with me and Soraya about all the good things that happened at Yoseka in June. Woo. Happy Summer. Happy summer. Bye. Bye.